what's up people <laughs> so in today's tutorial i want to teach you about uh github code space it's more like uh what i've shown you about uh github no that is gitpod okay so it's kind of the same thing and this is basically uh leveraging upon that it's more like part two okay so when i finished working on that uh, gitpod uh tutorial that i showed you of recent i immediately discovered that github also has one although uh you're gonna see it though but i feel like the gitpod one is like the most matured version of it but github uh code space is absolutely insane and i'm gonna show you in the tutorial how i get all those things together it's it will be very helpful to you to be able to do your web tree development on the fly in bringing speed to your work you know like making things a lot faster for you to develop especially for folks that don't have a in a, a high level computer okay there's a certain level of juice that your computer needs to be able to produce to work with web trip driven application because you'll be running multiple servers at once you'll be running your blockchain server you'll be running your reactor next year server and you'll be running other processes behind the scene especially if it has to consume some external uh api services or some external back-end services all of those things you know accumulate together to uh um, increase the number of of juices that your computer needs to what run a web tree application so without further ado let's jump into this tutorial so before we proceed into the tutorial i just want to show you that that mentors website is live and active right now okay the website is thatmentors.org okay so you can that's where we're moving in we've actually moved away from buy me a coffee you know to our own website where you can you know uh have information about us what we do get access to our books and courses premium courses okay and also uh join the upcoming dap mentors academy okay we are having a dap mentors academy that is coming soon and also have access to our partnership and services you know what we do like consultancy if you all have questions for me and you want a face time with me to ask me questions relating to web tree and all of that you know your project and all of that you can get in touch and also development services hourly okay so you can get with me on these particular services here and if you have a general partnership that you want to do with me you can always email me so by clicking on this button you'll be able to email me you can join our discord channel you can have access to our youtube channel and other uh, publications that is released like blog tutorials on dev.to and on medium and other platform our github account all of those things are there so please do well to uh check out the website all our premium courses are there okay our books you can buy it from here at this amazing course they are very very well detailed and i think you should really really check it out like this is how the content the key feature of this this is like my latest uh, course that i'll release of recent it's fully loaded man i gotta tell you the truth this this is loaded if you want to really go into nft minting project this is the uh, course for you so with that said uh let's move in okay so this is the project i'm going to be working on okay this project i'm currently still developing it it's developed with nextjs not react nextjs is a nextjs application okay is a raffle draw or lottery application okay and i've designed a smart contract design everything okay this is this is going to be on the channel soon all right i know that most of you folks have been dreaming to and waiting out to actually see me publish new tutorial okay so some of these these are these are what it is right now you can come into any one of these these are some of the lucky numbers that have been generated and each one of them has a countdown so this is the application that's currently right now and you can see that you know not every part of it is developed i'm still working on it but you can buy ticket and all of that is functional right now you can connect wallet and all of this this tutorial has a sound in like it's so cool that i don't even need to connect my wallet to be able to load my web tree you know uh resources like i could disconnect from this right now you can see the wallet is disconnected i refresh you see all my 
all my stuff have been loaded properly okay so you can see my lucky numbers have been loaded and all of those sort of things so this is how it is and i'm going to teach you all of these things for free in the next tutorial that will be unleashing upon the channel so it's a next js project so you better wait up uh, get ready for it okay so that is one of the things i want to teach you in this particular uh, tutorial so let us just get started with github code space all right so this is the project right here on github all right this is Daplo tree is a private repository it's not yet released but once it's released all of you have access to read okay so what is it made of what is it up to okay so these are all the project structure and all that so i want to teach you how to do the same thing that i did with git uh pod on this particular uh repository so i'm going to like load this rep repository online without my computer so how you do it github has this thing called code space okay so i'm going to create a code space from this master and run this application online without actually using my own computer that is what i want to do so i'm going to click create code space on master so it's going to go ahead and do the creation and running the entire thing so setting up my code space let's wait for it okay my id is is fully loaded and i'm waiting for my terminal to start executing okay so this this is the app right now all the store the project and of course this application uses redux okay so it's pretty cool i'm going to explain it for you when i'm start running the application itself uh, that is shooting a course you know on for you guys on youtube okay to to digest all right so right now it's running the npm install package or yarn you know installation package to get all my uh, npm modules you know up and running so all of these things are done automatically so this is happening for us so sit tight and watch it take place okay so i think we are good to go we can actually start executing this and uh, see our node modules has been what installed everything or running so you run yarn dev all right and the application is now running on this port and you'll be asked to view it okay so it can locate uh, a certain uh, uh module which is this which is this uh stuff here so we're gonna have to close this we need to first thing we need to do is come to create a second um terminal when you create a second terminal do yarn add that node to spin up the node server so i didn't type that correctly so let me type that again okay so hard hat node okay so it's gonna spin up the node okay this is spinned up now here i'm gonna i'm gonna come here and and run uh yarn add that you know run scripts slash deploy dot js to put the smart contract on the web so it's basically downloading that version and pushing the smart contract on the web and at the same time i've i was able to generate because this deployment script I configured it in such a way that it will generate some about four four uh, jackpot or shark or lotteries for me and preload it on the smart contract. All right. So with that, I could now run yarn dev to spin up the development server. Okay. So this development server is good to go. So if I open this right here and Okay, waiting up for this to load performance on port forwarding and all of that kind of thing. So, okay, so why this is happening is because I'm using the address of the blockchain server. It's not different. Why, why what am I saying? Look at this URL is pointing to localhost, you know, colon 85. Uh, four five. This is what it is when I was developing with it on my own local machine. So to resolve this, 
I have to come to this place. I keep on making that mistake and thinking that that is the VS code, okay? So I have to come to, where is it? Oh, kind of move that from my code space. Yeah, move that from my code space. So I'm going to come back here. See, this code space is already active. So I'm going to come in here. So let me refresh this. All right. It is up and running. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to resolve this problem that you're seeing here. First of all, come to your code space, go to your ports and make sure that this port is currently now you can see that this port is private. This is the blockchain server because it's running. I have two terminals here. This is running my Node.js, my uh, Hadad server. Then this is running my Next.js application. So those are two ports. This runs on 300,000. This runs on 8545, which is this. So what you need to do is to make, first of all, make this public. All right, make this public. And this is not public. Then you copy the URL. So I'm gonna copy this URL. I have a certain script here. Uh, come to services. I have two blockchain services. This is the SSR, so server-side rendering services. So this is the service that enables me to load my blockchain resources without needing to uh, be uh, to connect to MetaMask. Okay, so now I'm going to what? Change this URL from this localhost 8545. I'll change it to to this one that I copied and save. And basically, to trigger this uh, service. The one that is rendering online to reload and when it reloads hopefully that error will be gone fantastic you can see the error has been gone and you can see that i have access to this and if i click on any one of them right now um you see that it loads it up for me and i will i, I think i could be able to generate random numbers by just clicking on this and you know but but nothing will happen right now it will not be it's not go through big so you have to connect your to metamask so i'm gonna i you know um the problem here is that i can't use this particular one uh let me come here okay so this is this is still local host but this this is my own local hosts you understand because if i show you from here uh this particular blockchain service is running so this is my local host and that's why that account is actually showing like you know something is going on so i want to use my local host on the web which is this one okay to do that first of all i will have to what um i will have to copy this url of the blockchain that is the ropc where it is online then i'll come to my metamask here and i could uh, click on this drop down i have this code space local uh, local host already so but i'm going to remove it so that i could start from scratch so i'm going to remove it i said remove yeah delete that so i'm going to start from scratch i'm going to i'm going to add network all right and say add a ma network manually so the name of this let's call it code space code space you know code space local okay code space local and the ropc url should be the one that you copied okay this is the ropc url this is where we can get that uh network all right and then you want to uh, get the chain id the chain id is very important it's the same thing as for hard hat Three one three three seven. All right, you can see that is correct. The symbol, currency symbol is ETH because we are using Ethereum. And then you save this. Okay, you see that my my local connection has been loaded, and you can see that I have some ethers already on this account. For example, 
When I click on this, you can see that all of these accounts are 11,000, I mean 10,000, because I'm using this particular local network. When I, what happened when I changed to my own local network on my machine, you can see that the accounts changed to whatever that was in that account, so they are different, okay? So I'm gonna switch to this uh, code space here. So I'm on this code space. Then I'll come back to this and click on this generate lucky number. Let us, but before we do that, I will have to connect my wallet address first because I can't sign transaction I, I, without connecting my wallet. So I connect this wallet, connected. So this wallet is connected here. So I come here and click. I want to generate like five uh, random numbers of five, uh, let's say eight random numbers. Click on generate. It's approving transaction now. I click confirm and you see that you know lucky numbers have been generated you know let's refresh this and see okay let's see how true is that if there is an error we're going to have to resolve it you know so um let's look at this okay the the lucky numbers were not generated and look at this contract interaction field okay and we did not get to see this but i have a high faith that this was because of uh a certain problem that has to do with uh what is it called um nuance okay so let's let's try it again here i'll open the terminal and run this again let's say i'm going to generate five or four click sign transaction confirm you see nuance too high exactly what i was thinking about so to resolve this particular error what you need to do is click on your metamax wallet uh this happens for local host uh, services okay ganache and harat but it doesn't happen on the real ethereum uh test net or the main net so i'm going to reset this account all right i've reset that account now now let's generate random number seven so we generate that and click confirm okay it's going to approve transaction and once it is approved you can see all the generated random numbers fantastic so this is basically uh what is going on here and you can see the the price you know all of these things were set in case just for example if you want to if you want to actually uh create this jackpot yourself okay uh, okay i see uh that is a little problem from my end and i i didn't push that particular update to the server but that was happening because i did not do this simple thing i understand exactly where it's going on so i i changed some this this is its redox um uh, redox toolkit okay so it's because there's a certain redox toolkit uh package that i'm using that that is i'm supposed to make sure that i updated something which i did not update on the live but i've updated it on my local host but i haven't just pushed it yet okay so this time around it should work you can see that so you, this is how you're using creating a a, a a jackpot or a lottery and all that you understand on this on the service you know on this platform so but this is what we're going to be doing and we're going to once this tutorial is ready you're going to see it on the channel all right so look out for it so men and brethren this is how you get this thing all you know up and running all right and i hope this was very beneficial to you i hope you find value on being able to quickly utilize you know the github space for uh doing all your activities doing all your blockchain activities without actually relying on your computer because maybe your computer has a low spec or you are not on an environment where you have access to your computer you can quickly use this free cloud story uh, code space this is amazing. These are cool stuff that is happening right now in your time and you can leverage upon it. So my name is Talent Gospel and I'm happy to have released this tutorial to you. So make sure you check out our website, you know, get our courses, premium courses. These are, these are well articulated courses. They're not done in a hurry. You know, this is the latest of it in release. Make sure you check it out, check our service out, purchase it and get yourself rounded in this web tree space. You know, great things are going to be happening soon on this channel. And with that, if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.